Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Lahore, which is in the Punjab province of Pakistan. This is an amazingly vibrant and energetic city. Today we're gonna go on a food tour of the old city of Lahore. Uh, we're gonna go to Gawalmandi, Lakshmi, Chak, and Chowim. Chalmi, Chalmi, thank you. We're gonna eat some street food. We're gonna eat at some of the best restaurants. I'm gonna be hanging out with my friend Ali and some of his friends. And we're gonna show you all the food in this video. We're starting off this morning at a place called Sadiq Halwa Puri, which is known to serve some of the best Halwa Puri and Chana in Lahore, uh, which is a very common Lahori breakfast. So it's going to be a chickpea stew along with the, the fried dough. And what he does, he like really slaps that dough out. He kind of twirls it on his finger right into the oil and that just plops into the oil. The spin move is amazing. It fries for only about, probably only 30 seconds or so um, in that oil and then they, they take it out and then, okay, we're gonna go eat now. Awesome. They do have a dining room, uh, but it's quite dark back there. So we've decided to, to take the food and sit on the street uh, by the car and eat. Or maybe on the car and eat. Be careful of the wire. Hello. Well, maybe sure. And the owner mentioned that we gotta eat the puris right now while they're hot and fresh. Immediately as I feel that puri, it's just so soft yet so like, so like delicately crispy at the same time. And I'm gonna scoop into the chana, which is a, it's like a chickpea stew. What's amazing to me is the puri. It has such like delicate textures to it. And the way he slaps that dough. Some parts of the puri are gummy. Other parts are kind of like elastic-y, really rich, really, really hearty. Yeah. Try the potato curry and it's in there. You can see that, you can see that butter on top. You can see the potatoes floating around, the spices. There's like an herb flavor to that. Oh yeah, that's delicious and again, so rich. What's up, man? Yeah, it's good to see you. I, I'm like a big fan of you. Thank you so much. The next thing we also tried here that they're famous for is the katlama, and this one was with meat inside. I think there's a, a couple of different varieties, uh, but it's the same dough. And then you can see the minced meat filled into it, and then that's just like a such a almost like almost like crumbs because it's so deep fried. So that's like a next level meat pie. Yeah, that's really like dangerously oily good. Let me just introduce to you two who we're eating with today. We've got Ali from Landmark Communications. He was in charge of setting up our entire trip, so huge thank you to Ali. Thank you so much to you, Mark. It took us two years to finally have you here. Yes, yes. Ali has been inviting me to Pakistan for, for over two years. Yeah. And then finally to have a chance to meet Ali, to be hanging out in Lahore. It's amazing, and we're gonna have a lot of good food on this trip. Another important part of this dish is the halwa puris. It's a sweet component that is often eaten along with this whole meal spread. It is sweet, but it's almost like, it's almost like porridge, like. Okay, now I remember, it's semolina. Um, and it has that kind of greeny texture to it. And then it has a very like floral sweet taste to it. That was an amazing first stop breakfast, Lahori breakfast. We are jumping in the car now and moving to the next spot. We're on our way to an area called Gawal Mandi, which is a, it's a famous area for food in Lahore. And as Ali was just explaining to me, Gawal means milkman and Mandi means market. So it used to be the milk milkman market. Uh, but now it's just, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a market, but it's, it's full of food, known for food. That's where we're going next. The traffic, it just kind of, it just kind of flows and you just kind of weave your way around and others weave their way around you. The colors, the buses, it's just, I'm, I'm still just loving everything and just, wow. We've got a short little walk to get to the next place where they're very well known, legendary for Lassi. Awesome. 
first he takes in the metal cup, he adds in some buffalo butter. That's like cream butter, straight up butter. You can smell that animal buffaloiness of it. He takes this wooden propeller, he really whips it up. Um, and then he adds in the lassi, that, that like liquidy goodness. And then finally on top, he adds on one more ingredient, which is like a, it's it's the the purest form of sweetened buffalo butter. Fika lassi shop. This is one of the, one of the most famous, one of the most legendary lassi shops in all of Lahore. Oh man, that looks just like creamy sensation. You don't know whether you have to eat it or drink it. <laughs> yes, that is a masterpiece. It looks like a trophy. They're saying what I should do is take a few sips of the of the liquid first before digging into the butter. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not rich yet. The liquid is not rich. It's it's like watery, very refreshing. It's very icy. Okay, Joel's gonna try it. Dude, just try the liquid the first. The creation of it is beautiful. I can't wait. Wow. Yeah, it's not that creamy. It's like and it's so gently sweet. Next up to try the richness of it, the butter, the pure butter. And you can just see that just, that's just thick. Oh, wow. That is like whipped cream, but times five. And then you've got this sour component. It's kind of fluffy at the same time. That's like the, the most pure whipped cream I think I've ever had. Oh, that's like the greatest whipped cream you've ever tasted. <laughs> Dude. Like nuggets of like fluffy butter. That's crazy. Nuggets of fluffy butter. <laughs> so unbelievably creamy. Yeah. Now he mentioned to mix it all up so you got that butter mixed into the, the milk and the wateriness, so then it's more like a it's more like an actual hand uh, hand hand mixed milkshake. Wow. And then you've got those like, like chunks, curdled chunks of butter. It's amazing. Big fan of you. Nice Thank you so much. Yeah, what cool. is your name? Posi. Thank you. Awesome, Thank man. You. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. That is for sure the richest, thickest, most unbelievably delicious milkshake I've ever had, butter milkshake I've ever had in my life. Uh, we're stepping down this alley here just to take a look. Birds flying overhead and you can, yeah, definitely see the buildings kind of tilting in. This is a mukhala, which is like a, it's a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood. A community, exactly. it's a community. And it opens up into a courtyard here. Uh, so many families and a lot of families exactly. live together. Yeah, and they live here area. for like centuries. Their parents and oh. grandparents all used to live together. And you these see courtyards the are the common combined for all the families. So okay. It's like the shared area. They ah. all share it together. And it's amazing how on the road it's it's loud and you hear the honking, but then you come back in the alley, you come back into the courtyard and it's peaceful, so peaceful. We stepped outside of the alleyway and immediately outside, he has corn, he has uh, chickpeas, he has a charcoal stove going, he has a rounded pan, which is filled with black salt. And you can feel the heat just radiating off that black salt. And as soon as you order the snack, he tosses in a handful of corn, which is already uh, peeled off from the cob, and he tosses in a handful of chickpeas. And then he whooshes that around in the hot black salt until it cooks. And you can feel the heat of that roasting. I um, mean, you can really smell the aroma of that corn coming out. He makes a little cone out of a piece of paper and puts that snack in there. And that's that's freshly roasted. That's beautiful. What a what an amazing way to roast. Mm. Oh, it's wonderful. It's kind of dry, but in that like attractive kind of dry kind of taste, like very starchy. It has a wonderful saltiness to it, which I, I believe just comes from the flavor of that heated black salt. You can taste the salt all the way through it instead of just being on the surface. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Huge, almost the size of a small cow. Yeah, the streets are just starting to come alive in Lahore now. It is buzzing and bustling. There are donkey carts, motorbikes everywhere, little tuk-tuks and cars and buses. Oh man, the, the liveliness, the energy, the street food. It is, uh, 
It's amazing here. I am loving it. Okay, we're gonna cross this street. Walking down the street again and we came across a man selling sweet potatoes, but his display of sweet potatoes is beautiful. It's just a, like a, a giant bouquet of sweet potatoes arranged in like a spoke formation. When you order, he slices open the sweet potato, he takes it out of the skin, uh, he cuts it into pieces, and then he sprinkles on some masala powder, a mixture of spices, and then the interesting part is where he sprinkles on, he squeezes on, it looks like a mandarin, like a mandarin orange juice all over it. Oh, that's nice. And even the masala is like very optimum. Uh -huh. Not very much, not very good. The white one masala. And then, nice. rather than being lime juice where it's more sharp, it's more mellow with that mandarin juice. Mm. Yeah, that's a really healthy tasting delicious snack. We just arrived to the next area, which is called Xiaomi, and we are going to jump in the back of this is a this is a it's a motorbike connected to a, a cart. So we're gonna we're gonna jump in and go down the road to go to the next spot. Okay, this is awesome. This is the spot right here. 45 years ago. 45 years ago? Yeah, this is the Babaji. Ah, okay. No. Again, as soon as we got out of that motorbike, um, we came to the corner of the street and immediately you can see people just standing around or sitting on motorbikes um, eating. It's like a popsicle, but it's kofi. It's a, it's a type of ice cream. Uh, but this, the, the place is called Babaji Kulfi, which literally translates to old respected man ice cream. Um, and you can see the old respected man, he's on the, on the pillar of the wall. It's made from milk and koa, and we were just talking to the owners. Koa is milk that has been cooked down and reduced into a really condensed cream. I couldn't control myself, <laughs> I already had a bite. Yes. Oh, and they've I'm been really here for 45 I'm years really as well, right? Yeah. That's amazing. Lots of history behind it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, that's cold. Oh, my it has this like kind of grainy texture to it. Oh, really good though. You can taste like the sweet and condensed milk kind of kind of taste to it because of that koa, which has been that that like roasted cream. Oh, this is your first time. This is my first to have time. This. Yeah. It's amazing. Awesome. It's really nice. It, it is. One it's of the really finest good. and best cookies that I've had in Pakistan so mm. far. Oh. That kind of like sticks to the stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. But that went down really easily. Dude, look at those skills though. It looks more like a meat grinder than a, than a fruit press. You can just see that froth on top. That is fresh, just ground. He just smashed that orange. You can just taste the breakfast. And actually it's more salty than it is sweet uh, because he added in like a whole teaspoon of salt in here. To me, it's more like a, like an energy drink. Not like an energy drink, but like a Gatorade, uh, a natural Gatorade because of that salty taste to it. It's just amazing how everything is able to function and flow together. I mean, there's motorbikes, just seas of motorbikes. And there are literally like, whoa, there's milkmen going opposite directions. There's horse carriages and donkey carts and pull carts. Um, whoa. 
and then there's just, I mean, you can just be looking out at the street as you go and just see fascinating thing after fascinating um, circumstance. We did a little loop. Uh, we passed by the jewelry market. There's so much action and energy and colors. But we saw another snack on the side of the road. He's making chana chat, which is a chickpea, a chickpea snack mixture. But it's so complex. It's so amazing looking that we, I mean, we had to stop. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes. Because I have seen you in so many countries, interviewing. <laughs> thank Just you like very much. Kenya, Kenya, and so many countries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very thank much, you. man. Nice to meet you. I've literally been in Lahore just for like 12 hours now, and we have met so many amazing people. The people, the food has been amazing. The people have been the highlight. Well, yogurt and menthol. Yogurt and menthol. Yeah. Tried apricot chicken. This is amazing. And the uncle who's making it, he has, again, so much incredible skill. He's in his 50s and he actually, they started selling here. He started making this with his father when he was a kid, right in this exact same position. They've been selling it here for 40 years. So when he was around 10 years old is when he first started learning how to make this. So 40 years of perfecting this this snack. All right, proper street food cart here. So, chana chana chan. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Is it? Oh, the chutney, the apricot chutney. Amazing. Yeah, that one is incredible. It's incredible, really nice. Yeah, what really stands out to me is the apricot chutney. Sure. It has that sweet fruitiness to it, and then. You taste the onions in there, you taste the coolness of the yogurt, and then you've got the creaminess of the, the chana, those chickpeas. Man, what a refreshingly starchy, just delicious whipped up snack. And then at the front of his cart, he just has a pile of vegetables. Yeah, I think it's self-service. Oh yeah, oh those aren't even pickled, that's just fresh. He does have a bag of fresh chilies, a quick chili in between bites of the, the, the chat. Cheers. <laughs> Chew that up nicely. Oh. Mm. It's not that spicy, actually. Now he's not taking the money. No, no, no. Even after everything that we've eaten today, that that has given me a sense of like over overdose of heightened just excitement and energy. That was unbelievably good. We tried to pay. He would not even accept payment. He is an amazing man. When you are in Lahore. Mohammed Ilyas. Mohammed Ilyas. Shukriya, man. It was unbelievably amazing. Um, and if you look around, oh, funny enough, Thai Center is right there. So he's right in front of Thai Center. Come here when you're in Lahore. He's amazing. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Oh yeah, the kofi. <laughs> well, that was a fantastic little mini, mini side trip. We're back to the actual cars now. <laughs> what a trip. And this is like one hour of two weeks. I, <laughs> my mind is blown. I'm so excited. This is awesome. Everything that we've eaten so far today has just been morning snacks. We're now on our way for the real lunch. Immediately you can smell the meat and the spices. And we're at a restaurant, it's called Bat Karahi. This is one of the most famous restaurants in Lahore for a dish called Karahi, but specifically the mutton, which mutton is goat in Pakistan. Um, the mutton karahi as well as the chicken karahi, that's what we're gonna eat here. And he just brought in a fresh batch of chickens. You can actually choose your own live chicken, they said. Um, and then they'll cook it 
immediately. It does not get fresher than that. <laughs> They're giving me the honor of choosing the chicken, so I have the pressure. I have no idea how to choose a good chicken. <laughs> Which one do you think? And in five minutes, the chicken is completely skinned. He just kind of yanked off the skin and feathers, um, and now he's just slicing it up using that foot knife technique into bite-sized pieces. Oh man, that is that is going to be a fresh curry. We've chosen our chicken. Now we're choosing a piece of the goat, and I think we're getting some of the leg here. Oh, he just split those legs in half. But I'm taking a peek. This is almost like a little, like a little like like meat hut in here and he's wearing the full scrub outfit. Oh, just got hit with a little chunk of meat. That is knife skills. So the butchery and where they, they prepare the meat is over on this side. But then they have a main dining room which is actually very nice and quite luxurious which is on this side right there. But well, we're gonna just get a quick look at how they cook the karahi. And a karahi is actually the metal pan that the dish is cooked in. So it's a curry, uh, but cooked in a karahi, which is that metal pan. And he adds in literally like a, ha a half a block of brick of butter into every pan. Um, they add in tomatoes, which he chops up stewed tomatoes. Uh, then he adds in scoops of cream, so it's gonna be hearty, it's gonna be rich. But before they serve it, they sizzle it and boil out most of the liquid. Um, so it's still saucy, but it's more thick. It's not like a, a runny sauce. It's a very thickened, spicious blend with the meat tender just falling apart in it. That, it's gonna be amazing. It's a really nice place up here, um, and it's it's really filled up now. There's a lot of people here. It was an hour long wait, but I for sure know it was worth it. The moment has arrived. They put them on their table, and immediately you, the, you can smell the butter. You can smell the spices. The only thing better than one karahi is two karahis. So we got the, we got both of them. One is the the mutton, which is goat, um, and the other is the chicken, which I chose the chicken. And that's all sliced ginger on top of there too? Sure. Ginger, right? Eh? Um, but yeah, they simmer it down, they boil it down until until it's more of a thick, rich sauce. Um, and you can see the butter. They literally added in like a, a, a block of butter into every pan. They finish it off with strips of ginger as well as coriander, fresh chopped coriander. Um, wow, it is unbelievable. Okay, I gotta try the mutton first. <laughs> yeah. That is insane. The richness of the butter, and you can taste all of those, that, just the blend of spices in there, the dry spices. But then you've got the freshness of the, the freshly chopped ginger. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And the mutton is so tender. Next up for the chicken, and kind of break off some of that chicken, you can again see all the slices of fresh ginger in there. Whoa. Mm. And I taste the fresh chilies in the chicken as well. Okay. The chicken is absolutely stunning, but I think the mutton, I think the mutton is the winner. It's amazing. And I would say the same thing. Mutton is the winner of the day. It's amazing. Full marks to the mutton. What about you, Joe? I couldn't actually believe how soft that was when the first bite hit my mouth. I just started laughing. <laughs> Which one do you like better, the chicken or the mutton? Mutton. Mutton, okay. Delicious. Yeah. Really good. Just every single bite is just a total excitement. And I'm going to get a bite kind of scooping up some of that spice from around the rim. The rim of the pan, all with a piece of the, all with a piece of that last piece of that mutton. Scoop her up. That spice, that ginger, that tender meat. <laughs> and that completes the karate.
Lahore is really a night city and so there's so many restaurants that open up at night. It's, about, it's almost 8 p.m. now. We have quite a lot more food to eat today. I've got to admit, I'm getting a little bit sleepy though. Joel, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this fish, but oh man, this has been a... <laughs> it's been a long day. Awesome, but it's been a long one. <laughs> so the restaurant is called Sadiq Fish Corner. And yeah, this, it's, it's a fried fish restaurant. They have not one, not two, not three. There's four vats, pans of oil, which are bubbling away all at the same time, frying fish. And the oil is dark and murky, but that's because it's pure mustard oil that the fish is frying in. But it's just a beautiful scene. It almost looks like, it's like tide pools of frying fish. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. The chef is giving me a taste test right now. This is right out of the oil. Oh, oh man. Oh. Very nice. Oh, that's so good. You taste the spice in there. I can taste the, like, the coriander seed, I think. And then the seeds of cumin in there. And then, yeah, you've got that mustard oil aroma. Oh, man. That is just greasy delightfulness. They're frying the fish in the first shop down there, but then they have about three, one, two, three. Is that four full like shop houses, which are all dining rooms and they're all just packed to film. Yeah, I'm gonna get your bite. Awesome. It's just, smoke is still coming out. It comes with a sauce on the side as well. Uh, but that crust, you can see just that golden crust of spice and from the mustard oil, how yellow it is. Really incredibly good. And even the fish has this like silky texture to it. Um, and then you've got, yeah, you can really actually taste the mustardy taste of it. And then you've got definitely cumin seeds. Mm. Oh, the sauce is just kind of mellow tasting. The sauce is more almost citrusy tasting, almost fruity, like almost apricot-y. That complements without taking away the flavor of the marinade of the fish. We devoured the fish, but we did figure out that this is actually apricot. It's an apricot sauce. It's almost like a, a light, like refreshing apricot jam, and you can actually drink it. Hello, how are you? What's the name of the chicken dish? It's called chicken saji. Chicken saji. And that's also a very common dish in Lahore. Very, in fact, all over Pakistan. All over Pakistan, yeah. And there's a very well-known place for chicken saji just up ahead in the same area, in the same market, um, which we are navigating our way through the motorbikes and traffic to get to. Oh, wow. if, uh, Mark, if you see the smoke is rising. That's coming from them? Yeah, that's coming from them. Oh, wow. Hello. We made it to Khalifa Chicken Saji. They have some chickens on the skewers which are vertical, which are getting ready to go, but then they are roasting the chickens. It's almost like, almost looks like a slow roast like a manual style rotisserie. So he just monitors the chickens continuously, um, rotating them as they need to, to be rotating, and then just, just perfectly, so the skin is perfectly roasted. Very good. <laughs> oh man, that is just, that is amazing. Delicious. Chicken saggy, <laughs> delicious. That is a fascinating, impressive grill. It's so huge. And just the way he just carefully rotates those chickens and then moves them down the line. As soon as the chicken is done roasting, they pull it off the grill um, and then he slices it like perfectly though, in a way methodically, because then he slices open the breast, he slices open the leg, and then he squeezes in lime in every slice that he makes. Um, and then he pours in, he dumps in some seasoning, looks like some salt plus some seasoning. Um, and then that finishes off your chicken. They actually brought us out a table 
and we are sitting with the owner now gonna gonna dig in on the side of the street uh, they do also have a dining room inside uh, but we wanted to just enjoy this ambience the street side atmosphere be bathing in the chicken smoke as we're eating um, I can't wait to try the chicken it's so hot and fresh right off the rotisserie yeah, look at that. Yeah, and you can smell that masala seasoning that he sprinkled on and the lime. Okay, this is the coolest cheers. street food I think I've ever enjoyed. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love the lime. Oh. Yeah. The lime and the masala. Mm. That's what makes it. Oh, with the rice. Mm. And the rice again, you can taste that masala. Yeah. Yeah. Only here. Just out Amazing. <laughs> a very good taste. <laughs> yeah. And the flavor just keeps coming. How is it? It's amazing. Amazing. Delicious. Yeah. Yum. Lemon, lemon. Okay, I do prefer the the thigh. It's juicier. The breast is a little dry. The thigh is nice and juicy. I'm just leaning back in my chair, but we have one more spot to go to, one more restaurant to go to for dinner tonight. Thank you, shukriya. Thank you very much. Video. Oh, we're going against the river. The final restaurant we're at tonight is called Khan Baba, and this is Ali, he said it's one of his favorite restaurants, but it's kind of a courtyard section. I know they have a seating area here, which is the old one. We're gonna go into the new seating section, which is here, and then you can smell the different cooking stations kind of around the entire courtyard. Uh, but one final meal. This has been a long day and a lot of food. Oh so these are the kima naan, like the minced meat. Goat. Um, goat, goat, goat chops. Yeah, goat chops. Goat. Thank you. Oh. oh, that tenderness was totally unexpected. That's just like melt in your mouth tenderness and like fatty ooziness. And then that's just like char grilled. That is like supreme tender, like roasted meat. It was called damba with mixed meat. Mixed meat, yes. Okay, next dish is the mutton korma. And this is a, it's, yeah, you can see the pieces of meat, which just looks so tender. Again, you can see the slices of ginger in there as well, I think. Um, I, Again, just ridiculously tender meat. And then, that's kind of a, yeah, a very rich, like garlicky, oily, just supreme sauce. That is not the first time today we've eaten a rich, a rich, rich, buttery, buttery meat dish. What a way to end this incredible food tour of Lahore today. And uh, yeah, I'm, I have to admit, I'm, I'm very tired, I'm very sleepy, but just had a couple bites of those goat chops and that korba, and man, that was delicious. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you, man? <laughs> and so I've just come outside, um, and just was gonna finish off the video here because we're just heading home from here to get a good night's rest. Uh, but yeah, what an unbelievable day in Lahore today it has been. Um, the people we've met and just, yeah, and now more people, amazing people in Lahore. Um, and that's been the story of the entire day, not just right now, but the entire day. You want to sing, oh, you want to sing a song? Okay. Classic music.
Thank, thank you, you so much, Mark. Thank Pedro. you so much. Again, I just want to say a massive thank you to Ali. He's the CEO of Landmark Communications and Pakistan Travel Mart. He helped us with our visas. He's made all the plans for us, and I fully owe it to Ali. Thank you so much, Ali. It's been so much fun to hang out with you and eat. Um, and then just, yeah, thank you for arranging everything. You are awesome. And to Malik for also helping arrange everything and, and um, in Lahore and the food. Yeah, what a day. I will have all the information in the description box below of everything we ate. And good night from Lahore. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon. Uh, that way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from Lahore. I will see you on the next video and lots more food to come. I got some rashi. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I just totally lost the spoon.